everyone, I am Maria Wilhelmina Maala. So now, we were going to discuss my partner Marianne Dilantar about the basic concepts on special and inclusive education. So what is special and inclusive education? According to the UNESCO, inclusive education or IE is about putting the right to education into action by including all learners, respecting their diverse needs, abilities, and characteristics, and eliminating all forms of discrimination in the learning environment. Inclusive education also highlighted in the recent Depth and Order 21 series of 2019, also known as the Policy Guidelines on the K-12 Basic Program. And according to the policy, inclusive education is the case standard and core principle of the K-12 curriculum. And as an inclusive curricul curriculum, it is learner-centered, developmentally appropriate, culture-sensitive, relevant, gender-responsive, and contextualized. So, in the other hand, special education, or the SPED, is defined as classes or instruction designed for students with disabilities, giftedness, and talents. Special education needs or SEN is a term used in same countries to refer to children with impairments that are seen as requiring additional support. Along with IE and SPED, other related concepts include mainstreaming and integration. Mainstreaming is the practice of educating students with learning challenges in regular classes in the least destructive environment based on their skills. While integration, according to Franklin 1996, is referred to the creation of spaces such as regular classrooms, special education classrooms, or pull-out services for diverse learners. A school that admits learners with disabilities and combines them with regular pupils in the regular classrooms is said to perform integration, while the classroom is called as a mainstream classroom. However, this, however, this setup does not automatically mean that they are already practice inclusion. So, this figure is present the concepts on integration and inclusion. So, this is the conceptualization of inclusion, mainstreaming, and integration. In inclusion, placement of learners in the regular class is based on age regardless of their abilities or disabilities. There are no pull-outs and no shadow teaching. Individualization within the class without pull-out. In mainstreaming, placement in the, in the regular class is based on the admission requirements. Provisions of interaction with regular children with the regular class as the child's station may include shadow teaching in the regular class, provision for pull-out, and one-on-one. -on -one. And in integration, placement in the regular class is one or more subjects or activities, provisions of interaction with regular children with the SPED class as the child station, may include tutorial and other learning assistance programs. So, what is inclusion? Inclusion is about welcoming diversity by providing varied responses to the diverse needs of learners in the formal and informal education settings. So, to provide a clearer view of the concepts of inclusive education and special education, here is another concept on the both settings. In the inclusive education, all learners, regardless of the condition, participate in the mainstream classroom alongside their age peers. 
the learners adhere to a prescribed curriculum and methodology with some accommodations or adaptions and modification to meet the needs of learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents. All students simply required good instruction, but different teaching strategies may be employed to those with low or very high education needs. The general education teacher oversees the learning, the learning of students and in some cases with the help of a shadow teacher and a special education teacher. An ideal number of learners 30 to 35. In special education, the learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents are accommodated in a special class along with other learners of the same condition. A special curriculum curriculum is, is structured on the learner's condition. The learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents are given a specialized and intensive instruction anchored on their curriculum. The special education teacher oversees the learning of the, learner, of the learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents with the collaboration with the collaborative partnerships of their professionals listed in the, indiv in the individualized education plan or program. For one-on-one, -on -one, for group 3 to 5, for resource group 5 to 10. The SPED or the Special Education involves planning, implementing, monitoring, and evaluating a specialty-designed and coordinated set of services through the Individualized Education Plan or Program, tailored to identify and address the specific strengths and limitations towards their educational, social, behavioral, and physical development. Learners with special education, or the L LSEN, are also referred to as students with additional needs, or this one. Children with special needs, the CSN, students with special needs, or SEN, or children with special education needs and disabilities, but it is preferable according to Boston 2018. To use the term learners with disabilities, since the rights of persons with disabilities or the PWDs are fundamental human rights and are not special rights. Additionally, the term disability is not a derogatory term, while the term is special might be. Inclusive education is, transform is transformative rather than just being alleviative and it equates to the idea or equity as presented to this illustration. In the first panel of illustration, every child regardless of their height is given the same resources. This represents the equality where everyone is given the same support with the assumption that once all children are provided with the same opportunities, every one of them were gathered properly. However, this kind of fairness does not yield a result where everyone is able to access the opportunity to see over the fence. Equity, presented on the second panel of illustration, is about fairness in every situation. The boxes that are represent supports are differentiated, individualized, or preserved are personalized to match the diverse needs of children, making them view the game, regardless of their height difference. In making education inclusive, teachers use both accommodation and modification strategies in teaching. The accommodation change how the learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents learn the same material and meet the same new expectation as their age peers while modification changes what a student is taught or expected to learn. Through these strategies, 
learners with disabilities and those with academic learners with disabilities challenges are provided with materials that meet their learning needs. And, and the term disability is often confused with impairment. The precondition to completely understand its definition is by becoming acquainted with its two major disability models, medical and social model. Medical and social model of disability. As seen on as the figure will point for the medical model of disability present a traditional view of looking at person with disability or PWS. As a problem that needs fixing, the PW obviously cannot clean up and stir simply because he is in a wheelchair and has no other access to the next floor. The medical model of disability says that the part of his body that is impaired need to be fixed first for him to get the next floor. On the social model, Disability is seen to be caused by the barrier and society. This barrier include inaccessible environment, for example, no arms in building, no sub, no subtitle in movie house for person with hearing impairment, and no sound signal for person with visual impairment in crossing the street. Negative atti attitude. For example, for overprotective families, stigma, negative media, and enabling, labeling. Unfixable organization, example, security or poor education, housing problem, discrimination, and employment. Without this barrier, PW can easily access facilities healthcare policies and education system the same way the regular being do. Table of comparison between the two models. Medical model. First is the person is the problem. Second, the individual need to change. Third, PW become the victim or client that their responsibilities are disemployed. Fourth, Assessment, monitoring, and evaluation are imposed by therapy. Fifth, segregation and alternative services are given. The last is society remain unchanged. While the social model is first, the barrier created by the society are the problem. The barrier need to be removed. PWD have independence, control, and choice. Resources are made available to regular service. Training of parents and professionals are provided. And the last society evolve. The World Health Organization in 2011 has pointed out that disability should be viewed neither as purely medical nor purely social, since neither is a better model than the other. Instead, they promoted the conceptual framework of the international classification of functioning, of functioning. Disability and health also known as the ICF, the biopsychosocial, biopsychosocial model. So that's all for today. I hope you learned about what we discussed today.